The word for you today, it's Monday, September the 18th. I love the, the title of our lesson today. It's, You Can't Have a Testimony Without a Test. You know, we, we all like to have these good testimonies, but the problem is, what do you have to go through to get that good testimony? And we have to go through a test. Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 9 says, this third I will bring into the fire. God is talking to the people through Zechariah. This third I will bring into the fire. I will refine them like silver and test them like gold. They will call on my name and I will answer them. I will say they are my people and they will say the Lord is our God. Zechariah is prophesying in this in his book and about the future and the millennium specifically. In verse 8, the verse right before this, Zechariah says that two-thirds of the Hebrew people are going to be killed. They're going to perish during the millennium. Two-thirds of them. Um, this third then, it says, this third I will bring into the fire, I will refine them like silver. This third, they're going through a test. Can you imagine your family your neighbors, everybody, and two-thirds of them being killed. And you remain alive, you survive this, and the stories you have to tell, and some of them you probably don't want to tell because you don't want to remember it. That's what Zechariah, God is using Zechariah to tell the people about, about this coming millennium and, and how two-thirds of them will, be, will die and one-third will be left, but that one-third will be tested and come out like gold. Well, Testimony. We all have a testimony. What's a testimony? It's a formal written or spoken statement about something we've gone through. Let's think of some people who have testimonies. Noah. Take Noah. Can you imagine him working on this ark, this boat for a hundred years and people ridiculing him and all that stuff that he went through and then one day he got in the ark and was saved while the people that made fun of him weren't. About David and Goliath. Yeah, great story. But how would you like to be the little guy, David, going up against the giant, not knowing what the outcome was going to be? Or, or Daniel and the lion's den. Oh, what child doesn't know the story of Daniel and the lion's den? Famous, popular story. Daniel has, my goodness, what a testimony he has. But going into the lion's den... Today, we have people that go through uh, cancer surgeries, cancer treatments, the death of loved ones, surgeries. When you get ready to go through something, or maybe you're in the middle of something, you, you want to talk to somebody who's been through it and have come out on the other side. You want to hear somebody's testimony. So how do we get a testimony? Well, we got to go through a test. First, we're faced with a test. Remember Abraham and Isaac, his son Isaac? God told Abraham, go sacrifice your son Isaac on this mountain. Well, Abraham was told by God to go sacrifice his son. He, there's a test. So what's he going to do? Well, the second thing, we have a decision to make. Abraham had a decision to make, either to go and do what God said or to not go, to, to ignore God and just go on with your life. And the, So he's faced with the test, has a decision to make, and then he must continue to listen to God. Here's Abraham at the base of this mountain. God told him to go up this mountain and offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice. And so Abraham was going up the mountain with Isaac. And each step, wouldn't it have been so easy to just turn around and go back down the mountain? Sure it would have. But had he not gone all the way, he wouldn't have seen the deliverance God had, him, had, him, had provided See, as, as Abraham and Isaac were going up one side of the mountain, God was sending this ram up the other side of the mountain. And they met. And God provided the sacrifice. He never intended for Abraham to kill Isaac. It was a test. And it's a test that Abraham... I wonder if he told others about it. I don't know, but he certainly had a testimony, didn't he? Well, sometimes we, we ignore God. We know God wants us to do something, but we don't want to go through that test. So we ignore God. Sometimes we begin to trust Him, but then, then we quit. We halfway up the mountain, we turn around and come down. And we don't get to see God's deliverance. Sometimes we rationalize. Rationalize that God didn't really mean what He said. 
Sometimes we take matters into our own hands. And then sometimes we're obedient to God. We do what he says. And what a testimony we have. Sometimes we don't have a choice. Sometimes we go through a very difficult time and we don't have a choice. It's Psalm chapter 40, verse 17. It says, Yet I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh my God, do not delay. I don't know what you may be going through, what you've gone through. I know this. If you're going through a test, God wants to give you a testimony, but you have to go through it with him. He promises to go through the fire with you. He doesn't promise to take it away, but he promises to go through with you. If you have a testimony, I would love to hear it. Give me a call. I'll be happy to come by. I would love to hear your testimony. Because if God has given you a testimony, he wants you to share it with others. Have a good day.